I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank all my subscribers for taking keen interest in my videos and posting excellent questions. Now on this particular topic where I've discussed how to evaluate an expression with decimal exponents, I got many questions. So I copied some in this particular paper and uh, we'll discuss them one by one and I hope the solution will help many others. So what you see here is most of the exponents are to the power of 0 0.4. So if I write 0 0.4, it really means 4 over 10, which could be written as 2 over 5, correct? Now I've also taken 1.4 here. If I write 1.4, 1 1.4, 1 it really means 1 as a whole, right? So it means 1 as a whole and then 2 over 5. Correct? Okay. So that is one part. Second is, we have these numbers and purposely I have taken them, most of them, as powers of 2. So for example, 1024 could be written as 2 to the power of 10. 64 could be written as 2 to the power of what? and 32 could be written as 2 to the power of what? Tell me. So 32 is 2 to the power of 5, 64 is 2 to the power of 6, and as you know, 4 is 2 squared. Now, this could be applied to simplify some of these exponents. Other things which you need to know to really answer these questions is the rules. If I have, let us say, x to the power of a to the power of b, I could write this as x to the power of a times b. They get multiplied. Correct? If I have x to the power of a plus b, I could write this as x to the power of a times x to the power of b. They get added. So these are exponent rules which you need to know to find or evaluate the values. So we'll evaluate exact values of all these expressions. First one, 10 to the power of 24, could be written as 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 0 0.4, correct? As soon as I multiply this, you need not write 0.4 as a fraction. 10 times 0.4 gives you 4, right? So you get 2 to the power of 4, and 2 to the power of 4 is 16. You get your answer. You get the idea. It's kind of simple if you do like this. Now 64 can be written as 2 to the power of 6. Let me write this as 2 to the power of 6 again to the power of 0 0.4. You could again multiply this. So you get 2 to the power of 6 times 4 is 24 with one decimal. We get 2.4. Now 2.4 is kind of, this is 0.4, correct? So that means 2 plus 0.4. It, it means you could write this as the product of uh, 2 squared right, times 2 to the power of 0.4. 2 to the power of 0.4 really means 2 over 5. 2 over 5, correct? Okay? which you could write as 2 squared is 4 and this portion 2 squared is 4 right so you can write fifth root of of 4 which is 2 squared you could do something like this to get to the result i hope it makes some sense there could be an alternate way of looking into it 64 could be written as a power of 4 also, 4 cube, right? So we could write this as 4 cube, which is 64, to the power of 0 0.4. You could write this as 4 cube times 0.4 could be written as 2 over 5, 2 over 5, which is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 over 5. Do you see that? 6 over 5. 6 over 5 really means one whole, right? One whole and one-fifth. That means 4 to the power of 1 is 4 
and the fifth root of 4. Does make sense to you? So that could be an alternate solution, which is actually a better solution. Okay, so there are many ways to do it. Now let's look into 32. 32 as a power of 2 could be written as 2 to the power of 5 and we'll multiply this by 1.4 so you get 2 to the power of 5 times 4 is 20 5 times 1 is 5 and 2 7 so we get 2 to the power of 7 correct now 2 to the power of 7 is 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 so you get 128 as your result correct now let's get back to the real question here 4 to the power of 0.4 switch so we, we could write as 4 to the power of 2 over 5 2 over 5 so that really means you have to find fifth root of 4 square 4 square is 16 so you get 16 here and you want the fifth root of 16 does make sense to you. So that is what 4 to the power of 0 0.4 will look like. Now if you have 4 to the power of 1.4 that means just one more 4 in the exterior of this but you could also do like this 1.4 will mean 1 point now when I say 0.4 you can think about writing this 0.4 as 2 over 5 so one whole right times 4 to the power of 2 over 5 does it make sense since 0.4 is 2 over 5 so that gives you 4 correct square fifth root of 4 square which is 4 times fifth root of 16 does make sense to you so you could split 1.4 or uh, uh, you, you see what I did here, correct? So you could split 1.4 and write like this. Well, let me take another way of doing it. So you could do like this. You could write this as 4 to the power of, write A plus B. 1 plus 0 0.4. Does it make sense to you? So 4 to the power of 1 plus means product rule times 4 to the power of 0 0.4 now 4 to the power of 0 0.4 is this expression right so we have 4 fifth root of 16 so what we did here was we kind of pulled it in do you see that so likewise I hope you get an idea of how to solve or evaluate exact value of numbers with decimal exponents feel free to share my videos and subscribe to them looking forward to more comments thank you and all the best